Okay, time now to meet some people in the real world who also have noises ringing in their heads. Here's Sandy. If you're old enough to drive a car, there's always that temptation of drag racing with your friends. It's a pretty silly thing to do on the roads because of the danger that goes with it. But there is a way you can do it, and it's legal. Here at Oran Park Raceway, the New South Wales Hot Rod Association is having limited drag racing days. lining up for their scrutineering. What's scrutineering, you might ask? Let's go and find out. Joe? Yes? What's scrutineering? Scrutineering is the checking out of a car or a bike, race vehicle, to make sure it's legal for racing and safe for racing. And we check to make sure there's no oil leaks, water leaks, safe tyres, safe braking facilities, steering. So overall, so there can't be Just, any accidents? Yeah, so there can't be any accidents. here is five dollars admission to the course plus a dollar for each drag most of the cars here today are fairly normal street cars but some of the owners are a bit more ambitious what's the big attraction coming out here I just like the thrill of the racing. Uh, the racing is over quickly, so you, can, you know, if you lose, you can always come back and have another go. How often are these days held here? Well, it's only here occasionally, about once a month, I think it is. What sort of people come out here? Oh, just people just come out. People are really good. They just come out and have a bit of fun, you know? Car enthusiasts. Hey? Car enthusiasts. Yeah, that's right. Oh, it looks great. A lot of people interested in their machinery. This driver spent a lot of time and effort preparing his car. <laughs> oh, well, I guess it's better luck next time. All that's required to race here is a current driver's licence and a crash helmet. But drivers must wear long trousers, a long sleeve shirt or jacket, and shoes and socks, just in case of fire. Is this the first time you've raced? Uh, no, I've raced before, but it's the first time here. Ever had any accidents? On the streets, yes. <laughs> what's, it, what's it feel like when you're going down the straight? Nervous. Cars have to be fitted with an effective muffler system so their sound level doesn't exceed the 95 decibel limit set by the State Pollution Control Commission. If you want more information, contact the New South Wales Hot Rod Association in the Sydney phone book. Looks pretty easy, think I'll give it a go. Thank you, Sandy.